This video lesson is going to be about database management in Python and we are going to use SQLite. SQLite is a lightweight serverless database type. So first we should import <coughs> using the import keyword SQLite 3. That's the latest version. Next, we are going to create a new module called Connection and assign a value which is going to be, assign a value to it, which is going to be SQLite three let's use the let's add the connect method using the dot notation <clears throat> and let's call our database my database dot db because that's the extension of SQLite Next, we are going to declare a new variable called uh, C. Let's call it C. It's connection for short. And we are going to create an instance of a cursor that will interact with the database. So, <clears throat> connection. Now we have this new variable called connection and we are going to add the cursor method. Okay, now we are going to use the execute method and let's say create table if not exist exists let's call the table friends let's uh, specify the fields of our table we need an ID we need a, a field called surname and first name. So surname and first name. And yeah, and we are going to specify uh, the ID is going to be the primary primary key and the data type is going to be integer. So and it cannot be null. Okay. The data type, let's specify the data type of the surname field. Also the first name field. Okay, now let's insert some new records in our database. So let's use the execute method again. And let's say insert into friends. Now let's, uh, we should uh, specify the fields and we should uh, give the values.
So the ID, uh, surname and first name. So one. Uh, Smith John you can copy and paste this line and let's change the values to hunt and let it be Joan. Okay, now we should uh, commit all this. So, connection, and let's use the commit method. Now we are going to print out the records of our database, of, of our table called friends. So let's use the execute method again. And let's say select Okay, and let's say uh, fetched data. Let's create a new variable called fetched data. And we are going to use the fetch all method. And last but not least, let's use the print method. And uh, which is going to take uh, the fetched data variable, the fetch data variable as a parameter. Sorry, this is not date but data. Okay, so let's run the program. Okay, as you can see, the first record, Smith, John, the second one is Hunt, Joan. You can also use the SQLite extension in Visual Studio Code. If you hit uh, Control Shift P and choose SQLite Open Database, you see, it has created this my database. This is the table. You see? Thank you for watching.